thanks for joining me. We're out at Lads Marina here on the California Delta at the TBF, the Bass Federation High School State Championships. I've got the winners here, the new 2024 TBF high school champs. So I want you guys to introduce yourself and uh, then we're going to talk about how you guys won this thing. My name is Colin Constantino. I fish for the Vista de Lago bass fishing team. I'm a junior in high school and yeah, as I said, we're the, the state champs. All right. My name is Braden Baker. I'm a sophomore in high school. I fish for the Vista de Lago fishing club. And how about who's the boater for you guys today? Uh, the boater for us today is John Van O. Yeah, my name's Sean Vano, um, and I guess I can consider myself a Delta Rat, and I met these two probably about a little less than a year ago. Sure. How long have you guys been a team? Um, we've been a team for just this year. We're, we're rookies. Okay. So this is, this is our first year doing it. John, how, uh, how far did you, what kind of a run did you make? We uh, went down south from Lads, probably a 35-mile mm -hmm. roughly round One trip. Way. No, round trip. Round the, trip? Oh, that's not you too We were bad. down by Tracy. Okay. And uh, it was a little cold for an April, mid-April day. Oh, it, turned, it was nasty this yeah, morning. Yeah, it was not normal. Um, we, we kept, When he read me the water temp, I said, that's wrong. What was the water temp where you guys we were, were fishing? 52 degree water temp. 52. 52. See, we were, we were central, and we probably ran maybe 15 miles round trip and we were getting 59 yeah. 60 we hit i think the warmest one was at 58 right we found 57 um yeah. but where we caught our big fish you make sure make sure yeah, you got go the ahead. microphone yeah you, you found 57 we degree found temps. Yeah, yeah we found 57 but you know where we caught our bigger fish it was 50 mid 52 degree and water temperature yeah, what was your weight today um we had 27 pounds five ounces and i understand that's the biggest um, bass federation weight high school weight that's ever been weighed right yeah what were what were the fish you weighed i i we caught we had five fish um today i had a uh 887 and an 862 so uh i caught a six one or six two and then i caught like two twos and it managed to get the job done yeah so what was that 28 27 27 27 and some change 27 yeah. and some change so john just uh you're you're the boater you ran 35 miles um you're familiar with the delta yeah you can go ahead and take that um i what, said i like to think i'm familiar with well, the delta. <laughs> yeah i mean you can be real familiar it doesn't mean you're going to catch fish no but mm -mm. most guys that catch fish down here are familiar with the delta there's nobody coming down here dropping dropping in from outer space catching no, fish so no uh you got to give yourself some credit on that what were you looking for today what kind of water temps were you looking for clarity uh kind of stuff like that what depths were you fishing on and i do want to talk about uh you guys show off these trophies for for right now I know they caught most of their fish on, on these guys here. Yeah. We're going to talk about this big, oversized chatterbait in just a minute. But uh, show off your trophies there. These are trophies. Nice job, guys. And, and you know, state champions, chance to go, uh, you know, to the, uh, to the nationals. And um, you're going to remember this for a long time. Yeah, awesome Definitely. day. So back to John. You guys, I know those are heavy. You can put those up. Your arms are probably tired from <laughs> not catching fish today. And I'll let you hold hold this bait here too so tell us a little bit about what you were looking for and what kind of water you were fishing well i want, I want to back up also it's it, you know i have two anglers very dedicated mm -hmm. um they were super positive and i told them prior i said hey we're going to an area and we're not going to get a lot of bites mm -hmm. i said we're really only looking for five and that's all we got we only had five bites five and bites five, five fish in the boat we had more bites we only brought five fish in the boat. Mm -hmm. We did not cull. Mm -hmm. But what I'm getting at is I really appreciated um, the dedication. The, you know, it was nobody ever got down. The attitude was always fun. Mm -hmm. But with concentrating our energies mm -hmm. on, hey, this is vibrating jig water where I'm bringing you. It's slightly stained. Yeah, it's cold. We're fishing super shallow. We're still going to look for those what do you, And what do you call super shallow? Two to four, two mm -hmm. to five. Okay. Um, I was a little paranoid about the water temp when he indicated to me the low 50s. I said, we may go hours without a bite, but please keep throwing because eventually we're going to strike gold. And mm -hmm. they did. They and did. I, I think that's important for a lot of high school um, 
anglers to realize that in a tournament it's five fish. You five can catch fish. those five fish in 15 minutes. Right. And but to have the patience and um, and the stick, you know, just sticking to it and and playing the game out there, it's hard to do. Man. It is. It's, I don't know if you guys caught your fish early, late, caught them through the Mid, day, but like nine to about eleven thirty-ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah. So talk about your two big fish that you yeah. caught. Right. So this was the exact vibrating jig I was throwing. And uh, I blue was throwing... And blue and black. Yep. yep. Black and blue. Uh, Three-quarter ounce. And uh, I was throwing it on 40-pound braid with a 15-pound fluorocarbon leader. How long was your leader? Uh, I would say it was a good two feet or so. Okay. A um, short leader. Yeah. Not, nothing too long. And uh, just really focusing on bringing this uh, oversized chatterbait right over the top of the grass, you know, making sure that bait stays right on top of the grass and trying to draw that bite. Were you keeping the bait at a steady retrieve or were you killing it, stopping you it? You know, when, when I was in grass, I would speed up the retrieve to get it through the grass, mm -hmm. but I was, I was trying to go as slow as I can so I could feel it coming through the grass. Mm -hmm. Once I'm in the grass, speed it up a little bit. That's all it was. Okay. And for, for your fish, what, how did you, were you um, basically looking for the same same cadence and everything? And what were you throwing? Were you throwing straight braid or were you throwing braid leader? So I was basically throwing the same thing that he was throwing. Mm -hmm. I was, I had a 50 pound braid and... 50 pound braid, okay. A and a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Mm -hmm. with the, But the leader was like a little bit longer on mine. It was probably around four to five feet. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we got... It was probably our last bite that we got of the day, around 1.30, mm -hmm. and if I didn't get that fish, we we would not be here right now. Yeah, and that was a six pound fish? Yeah, it, it weighed yeah. like maybe six, six one. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's uh, your rods, How the length and the action of your rods? You know, we were both actually throwing the same rod today, mm -hmm. and it's a 7.2 uh, medium heavy, just super parabolic rod. Um, so you, it wasn't a, a fast rod. You wanted something that they, when they grabbed it, they just bent the rod and then you just right because we have braid, you yeah. know, to a fluorocarbon yeah. leader. So yeah, that that stretch with the rod it was helped us a lot. And were you throwing the black and blue, or were you throwing that brown? I was throwing this uh, brown and red, mm -hmm. um, basically for the entire day. John, you want to talk about this? Yeah, it's, it's called the donkey slayer. Um, this and is a big. This is a big. Yeah, related it's. Bait. I mean. The blade looks like a manhole cover, basically, <laughs> I've been told. Uh -huh. um, and what it does is it, and they can attest to it, it causes a lot of erratic action, mm -hmm. unlike most vibrating jigs. So, now, you're feeling that thump. Heavy thump. Now, is it moving? Yes, yeah, so well. So, when you kill it, it goes one way. Yeah, yeah. it kind of, on its own, occasionally does a sidekick. With that big blade, how does it come through uh, vegetation? I'd say it comes through better than your standard vibrating Slices. jib because it it pushes the grass kind okay. of yeah. so i i particularly target grassy areas because mm -hmm. i know the fish are going to be there can i take a look at that, that sure. thing again um what size hook you got in this it's a four odd hook it's a mm -hmm. gamagatsu aaron, aaron martin's g mm -hmm. finesse vanadium steel mm -hmm. tungsten head um, you hold this here it's a hybrid tied of living rubber and mm -hmm. silicone. And I also noticed you've got a, a big long skirt on yeah, it. It's, it's a full skirt. It's a full skirt, big trailer. It's it's definitely an oversized vibrating jig. Is this your standard? It's not standard, skirt. but it's something I like. It's mm -hmm. called the Neko Macho. Mm -hmm. It just looks like a folded up crawdad. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was trying to kind of cater it more towards a crawdad pattern today mm -hmm. than, uh, than say like a fin fish pattern. Mm -hmm. um, being that the the fish are, I feel like, are really relating to the crawdads right now. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you guys. Thanks for talking and uh, sharing, you know, the information. And I'll get you guys the information that you may want to try some of these big donkey... Donkey Slayer. Donkey Slayer. Yeah. Counter baits. I know I'm going to have to get a Vibrating few jig. Vibrating, Vibrating jig. Vibrating jig, yeah. Yep. So I want to shake your hands one last time. And I've been out to Vista Del Lago Thank you, a few Steve. times. And yeah. I've seen you guys. And, um, well, they got a state championship now. So congratulations. They did and, great. Uh, you guys go out, and it's it's time to get out on the Delta and have some fun. It, you may not have a 28-pound bag. We, we caught a, uh, my two guys did uh, great. Caught a lot of fish. 
Uh, Good. They, they brought a limit in. We called a lot of fish, just couldn't get the big fish, and we yeah. stayed local. Yeah. And um, you know, it's a lot of fun. So now's a good time to get out there, and I think it's going to last for a while. And I think after next week, when this water temperature gets um, to be 60, 62, 63, yeah. you guys may have a 40 pound bag. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. So, all right. Thanks a lot, Thank guys. Thank you. Uh, good yeah. luck in the future, and we'll keep up with you if you guys may get out to uh, fish um, the uh, uh, nationals. All right. All right. We'll see you guys. Have fun. Get out there and catch some fish.